All right, so my first step in this equation, I have distribution to deal with. Now, I don't need to do this first. I just think it makes the problem a little bit more manageable. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is 6. So now, I have this whole expression, 3x plus 6, and it's divided by 6. And that equals x minus 1. Now, there are lots of things you can do here, but I'm going to multiply this side of the equation by 6 and this one. Why am I going to do that? Well, these two sixes divide to one. They cancel out. Six divided by six is one. And we don't need to multiply that six by three x or six in the numerator because that whole term, this whole thing, three x plus six is all being divided by six. So when we multiply it by six, a division of six cancels out. So we have three x plus six equals six x minus 6. Here I just distributed the 6 times the x minus the 6 times the 1. Now I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And I'm going to condense this step. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. This will set me up to solve the problem. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. 6x minus 3x is 3x. Over here, 3x minus 3x is 0. And 6 plus 6 is 12. So finally, we can solve our equation and divide both sides by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So x is 4. All right, hope this helped.